All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So while I can't really say I didn't see this coming, because I think most of us did, it's still nice to have it officially be confirmed. Now, of course, as you guys saw from the title, we are here to talk about the Dokkan Battle six year anniversary and the fact that Ultra Instinct Goku has basically been confirmed to be one of the upcoming summonable units for the 6th anniversary Dual Dokkan Fest, which by the way is dropping on JP early next year and then eventually on Global in the middle of the year, like always. Now in terms of how we know that UI Goku is on the way, we gotta pop over to a website called TCG Factory. By the way, a big shout out to Baggy Saiyan as well as I Seriously on Twitter for bringing this to our attention. And this website recently posted a listing for a pre-order figure called Figura Dragon Ball Super Ichibancho Dokkan Battle 6th Anniversary Ultra Instinct. It's Ultra Instinct. It's Ultra Instinct Goku. Okay, so the existence of this listing essentially has revealed to us that a new Ultra Instinct Goku is on the way for the 6th anniversary. Like I said, I think most people did expect this to be the case, but it is now pretty much confirmed. And I like how <laughs> I like how they just put a black oval here to kind of be low-key, like, oh, we gotta keep it a secret. Nobody can know what this 6th anniversary figure is, but then they have Ultra Instinct in the title. And if you guys remember, going back to... I believe it was last year, or maybe the year before that, or maybe both years. Yo, my memory sucks, like it's super fuzzy right now, but if I remember correctly, last year, a couple months before the 5 year anniversary started, we got some listings for figures related to the 5th anniversary for Vegito Blue and Blue Gogeta. It was either on this website or, you know, a similar website that told us, yeah, this is what's coming. It was essentially a leak of what's coming for the five year anniversary to a Dokkan Fest. So this is a similar situation. We got this listing for Ultra Instinct Goku, sixth anniversary. So he's most likely gonna be coming for the sixth anniversary. Actually for the unit itself, I think it's most likely gonna be a mastered Ultra Instinct Goku because obviously we already have this uh, Ultra Instinct sign who recently came out like this year, so he's still super new, he's still super, super, you know, busted, and uh, yeah, I do think that the new UI Goku is probably going to start off as a mastered Ultra Instinct Goku, so that these two can be run on the same team. Can you imagine how insane this rotation is going to be, man? This LR UI Goku, still doing some crazy damage, still dodging everything, and then the new mastered UI Goku, which is probably going to be the new best unit in the game. I mean, I would be very shocked if he's not, considering it's mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. Although I guess he could start off as like a different form of Goku and then eventually transform into MUI. But either way, he will most likely be able to be run on the same team as this guy. And it's just gonna be such a dumb rotation, man, because this dude's already so busted. And then we have a new UI Goku that's gonna be even more busted. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait. Now. One other question we have, of course, is that um, it is going to be a Dual Dokkan Fest, so what's going to be the other half of this Dual Dokkan Fest? And nobody knows for sure right now, but there's some pretty obvious options, like Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, or I've heard some people say Jiren, although Jiren doesn't make a ton of sense. I mean, canon-wise, like, for the show, uh, it, it would make sense to have an MUI Goku and a full power of Jiren, but the thing is, we just had a Tech Jiren, an LR Tech Jiren, uh, released recently too, and he's not even out on global yet, so um, it just doesn't make a lot of sense for them to release another full power Jiren since that would make the tech Jiren obsolete, and they're just not gonna do that unless they call him something else, or it's like a exchange unit where it's you know Jiren and Topo, or like not exchange unit, but just like a you know double character unit, something like that. But I don't really see that happening, so I think Jiren is kind of out of the question, even though. I guess there's a slight possibility. Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta though is I think the most likely option, the most logical option because we don't have a um, standalone Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, right? We got the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta that transforms into Super Saiyan Blue Evolution and then we have the LR Blue Boys, the SSBKK 
and SSBE, but not a unit that's just Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. And it's definitely a character, a form that deserves its own standalone unit, its own standalone LR. So my prediction, of course, it's going to be Mastered, Ultra Instinct Goku, and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta as the 6th anniversary Dual Toolcon Fest. If you guys have some good ideas out there, or maybe you agree with me, let me know in the comments down below, whatever it may be. I saw some people saying Rebrianne as the, uh, <laughs> the other half, obviously not serious. Actually, the person that said that was uh, Talon, but he was being a troll, so uh, it's not going to be Rebrianne. It's not going to be, you know, Boda Mageta or something like that. Maybe a hit, right? That's an option, LR hit, because the last hit was so disappointing that maybe they could make it up to us by giving us actually a serviceable hit this time around. I mean, look, Tech Hit's not terrible. He just has some flaws, quite a few flaws, that make him unusable on many of the harder events in the game. But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. That is today's video. That is the reveal, the leak that uh, we got this morning. Didn't really see it coming, but I mean, I didn't see the leak coming, but I, I did expect a UI Goku. I kind of thought, actually, it was either going to be this, like a tournament, tournament, tournament of power. Can't talk right now, man. Tournament of power themed anniversary or a GT themed celebration. But since we're getting the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on JP um, earlier next month, uh, it basically doesn't make sense for them to release, you know, a GT themed uh, anniversary. So Tournament of Power seems to be the move here. And we're going to get the Ultra Instinct Goku, whatever else is coming with him. Super stoked skill still. I know like people might be kind of tired of like getting so many Gokus and Vegetas, but at the end of the day, it's a business move, right? I think um, Bandai knows. I mean, I don't think I know Bandai knows that Ultra Instinct Goku Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, all these like final forms of characters or just like really OP forms of, you know, some of the most popular characters are, are going to sell. So as far as, you know, from a business perspective, you know, this this makes the most sense. So there we go, guys. That is the video. Hope you guys are hyped. Uh, or if you're not hyped, let me know in the comments down below what you would have preferred for the anniversary. Or maybe what you want to uh, want to get for the next download celebration, since that's going to be after the anniversary, at least on global, right? But anyways, we don't have any any other information here. Um, as you can see, I'm stumbling all over my words because it's time for me to end the video and go to bed. So um, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll be back very soon as soon as we get more information about maybe what the UI Goku does, which won't be for a long time, but also maybe once we find out what the other half of this Dokkan Fest is going to be officially, I think SSBE has a very, very high chance, so I wouldn't be surprised at all if that's the case, but if it's something else, then you guys will be the first to know. But that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.